What's going on everybody? This is Nate Toffner with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate here in Lubbock, Texas. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing a little bit of a driving neighborhood tour uh, with a few uh, pretty spread out neighborhoods here in Lubbock because one neighborhood is not going to match someone and vice versa. And Lubbock has a ton of beautiful places to live. So if this is your first time to the channel and you've been searching around for information on Lubbock, you know, whether it be to work, play, eat, just what to do in Lubbock and how it is to live here, thank you for finding this channel. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell uh, notification so you get notified every time a new video comes out. And with that, let's get started. So the first neighborhood that we're gonna check out is Kingsgate. It is one of my personal favorites. A lot of the homes over here were built in between uh, the 1970s all the way up to the late 1990s. So you have a huge difference in style uh, concerning a lot of the homes over here, but they are all beautiful. This neighborhood has some awesome, awesome amenities nearby from shopping to eating, uh, even a grocery store, Sprouts Market. Uh, with the eating, Table 82 is actually a wonderful place to eat. And with shopping, of course, there's Lululemon, but there's also some very high-end retail stores at Kingsgate Center, which is about a quarter of a mile away. Okay, so the next neighborhood that we are driving to is Hatton Place. And it remains one of my top favorite ones. We even did a video about it uh, in the past as well. The reason why I really love this area is because they really have a mix of different you know, home styles. It ranges from anywhere from modern to a French country to a mid-century and even traditional style of homes. I really love that each one is different necessarily like the whole cookie cutter neighborhoods that may be somebody saying it's just not mine now over in this neighborhood there's some great places to eat as well uh, Harrigan's is a pretty awesome place to grab lunch or even dinner this neighborhood is right off of Indiana uh, a little bit more south right around the 114th Street so it's pretty close to the one that we just came from by about three to four miles the next neighborhood is Lake Ridge. So it was actually Lubbock's first planned golf course. And it sits on about 625 acres, I believe. Uh, the clubhouse is great. They have a junior sized Olympic pool and the food's pretty decent as well. Uh, the homes over here are beautiful. Uh, they range in different styles, different square footage. You have garden homes that are on the smaller scale all the way up to homes that are about 8,000 square feet. So they have some gigantic homes over here, but it really has everything for everyone. Uh, it's just depending on if you like the area or not. Me personally, I don't know what you wouldn't like about this area. You have some pretty awesome mature trees. You have people that are walking around. It's a very you know, close-knit community, and it really feels like a lot of people know who their neighbor is and everyone in the neighborhood. The next neighborhood that we're at is Primrose Point. It's got some pretty attractive homes over here in a pretty moderate price range. Uh, they even have some larger townhomes that have a you know a little bit bigger floor plan. Uh, but you're getting your typical home over here, you know, your three to four bedroom, uh, two car garage, and the location of this neighborhood really, I think it, it's forgotten about quite a bit. And just because it's a little bit tucked away on the west side of Milwaukee. It's super close to Bacon Crest, but there's some commercial buildings that kind of hide the neighborhood while you're driving around here. They have some great places to eat over here, like, you know, Funky Door, uh, Picoso's, and Funky Door is also a wine bar too. They have a huge selection. If you ever get a chance, go check it out. But it's an awesome neighborhood. Uh, it's not at the bottom of this list just because I don't like it. I love this neighborhood too. 
Uh, it's just, I, I enjoy personally the older neighborhoods, uh, but this is a wonderful option too. I hope this video was beneficial. Uh, if it was, please let me know. I want to make sure that, you know, the content I'm providing is valuable to whomever is watching. And I don't know that unless someone lets me know. So thank you for watching. I hope this was valuable. I'm Nate Toffner with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate here in Lubbock, Texas, and we'll catch you on the next one.